Kate Kate. The Sussex squad bullying continues. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. As you know, the Princess of Wales is receiving treatment for cancer and is withdrawn from public life as she sensibly focuses on her recovery and spending time with her family. This has resulted in quite simply disgusting speculation by various trolls, much of which motivated by the Sussex squad, who of course are encouraged by this one's wife, to ask questions about her absence, even though it's already been explained, to suggest that something untoward has taken place, that she's no longer living with William, or that she has actually passed away as a consequence of illness, or even the suggestion that William, some of them branding him Killiam, has dispatched her through the application of violence. They're completely poisonous and preposterous observations, but it's no surprise that such comments come from the sewer-like brains of the Sussex squad. It also is demonstrative of how there is a level in society of individuals who may not actually be devoid of emotional empathy, but their emotional empathy doesn't extend to other individuals, and they highlight just how stupid, how idiotic, how thick they are with their inability to appreciate actual evidence and instead just repeat nonsense functioning in a knee-jerk fashion. We see this repeatedly with certain people who comment on social media that rather than actually consider the evidence and material that is placed in front of them, they adopt a knee-jerk response and simply reiterate what others have stated. Their slack-jawed approach is demonstrative of the absence of intelligence, where rather than actively consider the evidence and apply a logical approach to it, they simply accept what somebody else has told them, and they go around regurgitating it. We see this regularly with the Sussex squad and with other commentators on social media. They don't apply any critical thinking. They don't actually scrutinise the evidence and form their own independent view of it. This has happened again in relation to the behaviour towards Catherine, something that Dan Wooten has highlighted in one of his further articles. He wrote, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, has been undergoing chemotherapy for cancer. Yes, it was detected early, and thank God the early signs are that she has responded well to the treatment. William needs her, and so does the royal family, which has been plunged into perma-crisis since the death of the late Queen Elizabeth II. But as any woman who's gone through the process will tell you, the physical impact can be horrible, and more often than not, involves a psychologically shattering loss of hair. Remember, the chemo wasn't the first medical issue Catherine was battling, having to undergo major abdominal surgery where the cancer was discovered, and there are still ongoing complications from that too. The British royal family have also been notoriously misleading about the health of its principles in the past, with the late Queen and Prince Philip's cancer battles both cut up until after their deaths. In other words, as I have always said, writes Mr Wooten, when much of the mainstream media and social media trolls were drumming up irresponsible disappearance rumours, Catherine has been seriously ill, and I believe should be given the time out of the spotlight to recover. She has a lifetime of service ahead of her. Are we really so cruel to not give her this time given that's all she's asked for us. Privacy for a period of time, that's it. She even made a video, so the plea hit home, for goodness sake. Mr Wooten continues by explaining that he's made it his mission to expose the Sussex squad, the biggest trolling gang of the internet age, for the dark arts they use to promote Harry and this one's wife, while spreading outrageous lies about William and Catherine. This week they got even more irresponsible, sending an old tweet from the English entertainer, mentalist, illusionist and writer, Darren Brown, making that go viral to suggest that Catherine was in danger and needed help. After the Raw Variety performance on December the 23rd last year, he posted a picture of his meeting with Catherine to his two million followers on X with the caption, Unbelievable at the Royal Variety. Both were very lovely and terrific at the meet and greet. Incidentally, when she shook hands with me, she pressed a tiny piece of folded paper into my palm. 
I looked at it later. It just had one word written inside. Help. Hashtag Dame Edna. The Dame Edna mention was a reference to the 2013 Royal Variety performance when the famous Australian drag queen played by the late Barry Humphreys entered the royal box next to the then Prince Charles and Camilla, only for an usher to hand him a note before he announced, I'm so sorry they found me a better seat, and rushed out the box. While Darren has an art of picking up on unreported trends, a source close to him assures Mr Wooten it was definitely, definitely a joke. Darren is so naughty like that, they said. Obviously, like all of Darren's jokes, there is a slither of something there that makes people think. It was his take on what it was like to be trapped within the royal family. What he's thinking is, she's so well behaved, she's almost too good to be true. It must be so hard for her to be perfect all of the time. He looked at it from that point of view. She's probably a bit more naughty and spirited than she's allowed to be. He liked her. If that had been true, Darren would never have tweeted it because he's a private man. The original post actually had little impact, but this week it has started to gain traction as the internet mob, headed by the disgraceful Sussex squad, launched a new campaign for Catherine to be forced to go public as rumours swirl around whether she might appear at the Trooping of the Colour later this month. The squad's spiritual leader, Christopher Boozy, a close ally of Harry and this one's wife, hosted another meeting of the Sussex squad this week as he continued to claim the UK media had made up fake Catherine appearances. He posted, I will be a guest on the Sussex Squad pod at 7.15 EDT to discuss a recent AI video and the latest dubious Kate sightings amplified by the UK press. It's clear the squad won't rest until Catherine is forced into posting another picture or video, and then they'll just claim that that was false. It's a pathetic cycle, and Mr Wooten hopes that she resists the pressure. He explains that no one has broken more stories on William and Catherine in the past decade than him, and even though he's broadly supportive of their work, many of them have not been flattering, but the current myths being perpetuated are not true. All you're doing is amplifying this one's wife and Harry's mission to destroy the monarchy, or stage a coup so they end up king and queen. He states that he's a hard-charging journalist and believes the royal family deserves scrutiny, but the flat-out lack of humanity over Catherine's cancer treatment is wrong, and he will continue to call out the lies. Thus, once again, you have a woman who is well-liked by many, who has a life of service. Yes, it's privileged, but she continues with service, who is unwell and receiving treatment. This is what has been explained. But rather than accept that, the Sussex squad and, of course, Christopher Boozy, continue to suggest that his made-up appearances, that it was an AI video, as they continue to rain down hate, and have then picked up the Darren Brown joke and made it seem as if it was an actual plea for help. It's unsurprising and quite pathetic of them, and it's rather entertaining, of course, that once again... Those supporters of this one's wife engage in the very behaviour that they criticise other people for. For instance, it was brought to my attention that there was a rather poor video that has been created which lists apparently 26 hate accounts. Your glorious narrator being listed within that alongside the likes of the Royal Rogue, Royal Grift, the Sidley Twins, and others besides, even naming Sky News Australia, and of course the Daily Mail within that. Now, to suggest that the Daily Mail, although we know it doesn't really like this one's wife, is a hate account when it's a news outlet reporting on lots of different things, is just purely nonsense, ditto Sky News. Similarly, this is a channel about narcissism and psychopathy, yes, I do report regularly on this one's wife simply because there's plenty of material to analyse and lots of people watch the videos about her. So one wants to convey as much information to the widest audience about narcissism. It makes sense to keep talking about her. But that clown doesn't understand two words 
first of all, he doesn't understand what hate actually is. Because if he did, he would realise that those channels that he named aren't hate accounts at all. And secondly, he's clearly a stranger to the concept of humour because he attempted to be humorous by changing some of the names of the channels as he read through them, for instance, calling me H.G. Todger. Laugh? I nearly bought a round. And mislabeling other people's names in an attempt at humour which fell short. But notice that it's okay for them to criticise other people. It's okay for them to take the piss. But if we are to do it, those of us that hold this one's wife to account and scrutinise her and call out her behaviours, then it's deemed to be hate. Yet again, the hypocrisy looms large. But these are individuals that are baiting a lady who is unwell, a lady who can't answer back, save that they try to pressure her into releasing another video, which, as Mr Wooten correctly identifies, they would just turn around and criticise themselves and say, oh, it's fake. She can't win in that regard, and the best thing to do is to simply ignore them. Catherine has plenty of supporters, but this recent incident of using the Darren Brown tweet demonstrates the sheer nastiness of the Sussex squad and the likes of Christopher Boozy. And notice once again, there remains complete silence from this one's wife. Why? Because she has no emotional empathy for her sister-in-law and because she revels in this treatment of her. Her silence actively encourages these clowns to continue to troll in the manner that they do, and they are simply an extension of her. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.